To my next level fried chicken. That level better be next stuff. I know that. That that is overpriced. Do it come with some size or something? So I was up about 22 hours, Jasmine. Where am I? Jasmine, fix your brain. Ooh, so you you wanna go to cheese and people watch and eat your chicken? Yes! Ooh, y'all, y'all. So much can happen in one year, y'all. She been, she been in her box. Child since I got her. If you would have had her, you would have been in a dibbling and dabbling, exactly. Girl, I'm trying to have my cake and eat it too. Maybe it's getting the water together. Y'all hit it. <laughs> it's boiling. The best part of waking up is dunking in your cup. Y'all, we just made our first coffee. Girl, can't be real with nobody else. Be real with yourself. I am a little crazy inside. Girl. Y'all said y'all ain't had nothing to wear to church today, so I was like, all right, I'm not about to fuss fight with y'all. You want to have a life in order, not a perfect life. I want to be quiet, my God is alive. I feel like in this season, God is showing me, Jasper, you don't have to be alone. Hi, good people. How do I, am, am I okay looking? I guess. Child. What was up with that drink yesterday from Dunkin? I was about to say from coffee. From Dunkin. Y'all, I don't know if it's the drink or turn it's right because... Turn right on the go-down road. I don't know if it's the... Girl, hold on, let me turn her off because she loud and proud. Okay? I don't know if it's the drink or I'm just wired up. But, y'all, I didn't go to sleep until, like, almost 2 p.m. Remind you, yesterday I got up at 4, was it 4.30? Like 4.30 or something like that when my mama had called me. So I was up for about 22 hours, Jasmine. <laughs> I was. I'm like, sister girl, what, what's going on? Like, what, what's, what's happening here? I could not go to sleep. Then, last night after I had left the, I was about to say the library. I did leave the, but after I had left the movies, I went to Sheets, and I had to use the restroom so bad. So I went inside of Sheets to use the restroom, and girl, my little friend, she said, "Hey," I said, "Girl, bye, girl, bye." Oh, you back again? She back again. I got to go prepare myself. Um, I was gonna pick up a couple hours tonight, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm gonna go home, clean my house. I clean my kitchen and then I cook. So now I gotta re-clean my kitchen. Um, last night I ended up having that salmon. I had salmon, rice, rice, grits, salmon, grits, and eggs. I had salmon, grits, and eggs last night, and that was actually so good. It was so good but now I'm all out of that salmon pretty much everything that I meal prep for this week is pretty much done today is Thursday so it did last me pretty good um so tonight I got some chicken but I need to throw that chicken out yeah I forgot about that part but I could go ahead and throw it out because I'm actually about to get something to eat right now girl don't talk about everybody we ain't going to Dunkin at least we're trying a new spot this place is called CM chicken it's like Korean fried chicken I never had Korean fried chicken before at least I don't think I have um so I'm gonna go there and try the fried chicken and see what happens it's a little bit of ways but we gonna get that when we good mm -hmm. but yeah it said I should be there in about four minutes I just don't know what flavor I'm gonna get I don't even know how it's set up for real. But I just saw it says C, it's called CM. Do it say CM chicken or CM Korean chicken? I don't know. But I'm about to go there now and go see what's tea. Okay. I think I'm not going to eat in the inside. What time? It's 752. I kind of want to go to the river. Depending on how long. Because this is. Could I go to. Yeah. Wow, that car is very colorful. But girl, focus. All right, listen, everybody. I wanted to go to the other place too. Maybe I don't know what I'm gonna do. We just gonna go ahead and see. Cause I need something to wear. I need really two, maybe two outfits. Maybe. 
struggle to drive through um gas station. I should drive through just to drive through for the experience. Mm -hmm. Um oh no, I, I don't know where I'm going actually. I I don't know why I thought where am I? Jasmine, fix your brain. I'm trying. Alright. Why would you do that, little boy? back in they got their boot bags mm -hmm. they enjoyed their summer i'm hoping i don't think i ever came down this part right here before or have i I, try, I just be riding i just be riding just be right y'all i just have so much to talk about i'm just so excited for this weekend it's just like mother nature's not about to play play with me like girl you're gonna have to get it so i need you to whip it into shape but um i'm just so excited for this weekend oh just excited i'm so hungry i know but yeah and you know what's so crazy? Oh, wait. I have been over here before. I remember seeing Kenny Roll. That's Kenny Roll. I just remember seeing that. Is this is where I... Is this is where... Yeah, is this where I came? This where I came when I came to the DMV? To get them tags, switch? I think so, y'all. Don't give me that. Don't get me the lion. I think it is, Jess. I don't know. Hold on, I should be able to tell because it was a. I was about to say a white horse, um, white castle, I believe, wasn't it? Over here. It is. So there's the white castle. Bet I know where I'm at. Don't play me. Yogi's Bar and Grill. What is that about? See him chicken. It's right here. Wait, why say, ain't this confusing? Oh, no, it's not confusing at all because your GPS is telling you to actually turn over there, child. <laughs> but that's it right there, CM Chicken, CM Chicken. I'm glad I looked over there and seen Yogi's Bar and Grill because I was about to pass little CM. I was about to pass little CM. Girl, please. But we're going to try them out. It's a Korean style. Do I, oh, okay. Do I go in here? Yeah. We gonna see what they about. I'ma back it in, me too. Mm -hmm. Go with the same people. All right. Where you wanna go? I'ma go over love. <laughs> Jazz. Oh, yeah, you thought you was about to go up a little, cause that's 30 minute parking. I mean, I don't wanna be front and center at the door. Why would he do that? I was literally about to back into this part and this man just got in the bar. Okay. The disrespect. That is so embarrassing. I was about to, maybe that guy was like, Jasmine, that, that actually ain't your part. I need you friends soon. Alright then God. Look, they open to what's today? Thursday. They open to nine. On Fridays and Saturdays, they open till ten. They open at eleven thirty for lunch. But yeah, so we are on West Henderson Road at 11.32 CM Chicken Korean Style Chicken. We are gonna see what they about. I saw some of the girls talking about it on TikTok. So, okay. Y'all, I tried to, uh, I think, I, di I didn't intentionally lie to you all, but I did, I thought something, but it's actually wrong. So on my TikTok, remember I said I had deleted my TikTok? I deactivated my TikTok. But I thought I read it said if you don't reactivate within 30 days that it will be automatically deleted. But it's been well over 30 days and I can't I have another I have okay. I have three TikToks, right? One is y'all know about that one. Mm -hmm. That's one I deactivated. The other one I can't find a password. I don't know the email to it. Boom boom boom. And then another one I don't have nothing on there. I don't I don't, I don't there's nothing on there. Um, so yeah, oh, she got her chicken. I wonder what kind of chicken she look good at everybody, too. Chat <laughs> people getting their chicken. I'm, I'm recording my phone, I ain't gonna take the camera right now because I don't want nobody to be like, oh my god, what's going on? 
But they say that CM chicken, Korean style chicken is so good. But anywho, yeah, so I went on TikTok. Not to, yeah, I went on TikTok to try. Oh, y'all better better go there. I went on TikTok to, uh, I'm glad I bought a backup. Amen. Basically, I went on TikTok to see if I could sign in to my other one and see if it would be like link kind of how like instagram in is if you sign into one instagram account the other one that you already have it was like linked to that one you could just automatically just go to the other one basically that's not the case at all and i can't get on that other tiktok because i'm trying to delete it and i i don't know how to delete it and then i was like maybe i should like contact i looked online like how what to do if you forgot your I don't know what phone number because I got two of them. Um, I don't know what phone number. I don't know what email. I don't know. I do don't think I know it's the login. So I need to like reach out to them to like see if I can somehow I can recover my information so I can get in and actually delete that account. And also too, there's someone that took my videos and actually posted, which is weird. That's weird. Don't do that. That's weird. Um, and I think their name is Wilma. Hold on, let me look. I reported you. Um, yeah. But, I, I don't know. I just, you don't take people TikTok videos and then repost them as yours, you know? But, um, hold on. Wilma. Wilma Barton. And this is my, this is actually my video. So, it's given copyright strike, girl. No YouTube. But, yeah, this is actually my video. And, um... I reported the other ones. I don't even know if I'm able to even see it. No, I put, I reported them. There's like, okay, I don't know who that is, y'all. Okay, I don't know what that's about. But yeah, like these are my videos. Please delete my videos off your page. If my videos ain't even on my page, I need you to delete it off of your page. And it's not like, you know how some people like have videos where they kind of sync it in. Like they do like a... What is it like they'll tag in the video or something like that it's not even like that so it's like I, I don't get the point of why my videos are reposted on your account but um i would like it if you actually do delete it thank you and then there's no other videos on the account it's literally just my videos so and it's not one or two yeah um all right let's go in here and get the shaking because people are coming in and people are leaving out all right gotta go back okay y'all so i'm back so i went inside and i ordered at the little stand thing that they got in there it's actually really nice in there if i was like up to it i would have eaten in the inside but i just don't want to eat in the inside today um i kind of just want to be a little bit secluded um with my eating and i want to be able to record and stuff for you guys as well and plus the music in there is loud but um the chicken that I'm getting, this chicken, it's baked first and then it's fried. So, I think that's just so cool. And they are out of honey gar. I was going to get honey garlic. Yeah, honey garlic. They're out of that. So, I end up having to settle with garlic soy. He said the, gar the garlic spicy and the garlic soy are like top picks but really the honey garlic is like the number one thing but they were out of it it was $19.99 I can't believe I just paid $19.99 for some chicken this better be the best chicken in my entire life it better be good I know that and he said I get eight pieces I got a half um so I hope it's some good but it gotta be some good that first of all their ratings are 4.4 there's people walking in picking up orders like oh they booming so i hope it is some good but ain't not too good to the point where i want to come up here too much because that that is overpriced but i'm gonna go for the experience see what it's about but they say it tastes so good and then i was gonna ask i was gonna ask him because there was a different flavor it was called a sweet chili flavor but they didn't have it in that the name of that chicken it's called tiku tiku or something like that where it's actually baked and then um where it's actually baked then um fried they didn't have that on the menu he was like yeah we can try to do it with that flavor i don't want to hear nothing about trying i need to know what you're professional at and i need to just stick with that because i don't i don't want to confuse the two but there's this other place over here too um remember i was like it's called yogi's bar and bar and grill i could have tried that place out as well they got like outdoor seating and all of that but i'll try it out a different time amen amen but yeah this is cute or whatever 
And this is so crazy. This is actually, y'all, another thing I want to tell y'all. They got Korean corn dogs in here. It's so crazy because when I be looking online, Korean corn dogs, the only spot that I could, like, would pull up is the one downtown. These people sell Korean corn dogs in there the fraction of the price. They're four nine. One was like four ninety nine, five ninety nine. I sent it to my homegirl Kai because when we went to Chicago, she was so in love with the Korean corn dogs. We actually went and got Korean corn dogs like a couple weeks ago, but I didn't vlog that day at all. And we did something that was so much fun, y'all. We actually sung in the street. Like these people was playing like karaoke, and they had like um, instruments like a piano. And they had like a little mic in situation. It was like, anybody want to come up? And we was we went to a, like a boba spot that was literally right in front of it. And it was like, anybody want to come up and sing or whatever? And nobody was going up. Like people was, you know, just walking by doing their thing or whatever. And then I was like, Kai, let's do it. And she was like, what are we going to sing? All the single ladies? Uh perfect she was looking at me like did she just say perfect and i'm like yes it's like perfect yes we are gonna say that i said that's a song that i know a song that you know we gonna pull up the lyrics because some of i be tripping over the just a little bit so i was like yes we actually we're gonna sing all the single ladies by beyonce well single ladies by beyonce and girl we did it and we had so much fun that that day was just it was so beautiful it was so beautiful and i'm starting to see like get a closer connection with kai and i really like that even with my best friend courtney although we've been best friends for so long it's like we're we're getting deeper in our connection in our friendship and i really really like that like i like quality friendships and maybe that's why i don't have a lot of friends because like i don't play when it comes to friends and kai is the same way like i don't play when it comes to friends i don't i'm not like i don't know it's like I don't know because I've just been portrayed and hurt and m me I haven't been the best friend that I could have been to people as well so I'm just learning one from my mistakes and also learning that I can't trust everybody basically so yeah um that's that but yeah so <sighs> yeah I'm just in my little thoughts but another thing too i don't know if i ever said this before but my uh homegirl kai she doesn't curse and she just motivates me so much to not curse <laughs> she doesn't curse at all and i just think that's just so dope like that's so dope and i want to be just like her when i grow up girl but yeah she's probably asleep right now because she had work no does she have work today she got she got school today she got school today but yeah that's that look how look how my nails are growing out so fast y'all my nails grow so fast and i literally just clipped them down the video that i'm posting today well i was gonna post a vlog today but i don't girl them two hour long vlogs they literally take 24 hours girl i'm loud it is somebody sitting right here it takes a long time for them to upload like this thing been uploading since what time i went to sleep two yeah at two o'clock Wrong. no actually before two now that i think about it 12 it's been uploaded for eight hours it said i got 58 minutes left i don't know if i'm gonna post tonight or not because if i do post i can post um it's two hours nine o'clock nine ten eleven them people just some people gotta go to work in the morning maybe i get them a little weekend ball yeah that's all i might just do wait and just post it tomorrow um and then tonight I'm gonna go home, clean and stuff, and then I need to finish. I need to finish journaling because I started journaling last night. And then maybe my homeboy we got on the phone. And I stayed on the phone with him for two hours. He was driving, so I was like perfect. I stayed on the phone with him for two hours and just talking about like this weekend and stuff like that. And um, it was it was a really good conversation. It was a deep conversation. And it was actually really good. It was a really good conversation. And that's one one main thing like I really like about our friendship. Like, whoa. I'm I know that we are friends, but it's like we're like we're, we're not like how can I say it? Like I know we're like associates but friends at the same time. Like we have friendship qualities but after last night's conversation, I consider him as a friend. Yeah, it was I, w I was able to open up, which I always b been before opening up to him, but on a different level last night. I was able to like open up 
and he opened up to me as well it's a very vulnerable conversation and i feel like not everybody that you're gonna meet they're gonna be able to open up like that to you unless they consider you something more than just a friend not more than just a friend but just like an more than just an associate i should say but yeah so that's cool okay he said 10 minutes so it should be done in two minutes because i left out at 805 it's currently 813 so yeah we're gonna see chat we're gonna see about it i'm gonna get my little chick i can't believe that chick was 19.99 what was i gave him a two dollar tip girl but it was $17.99 plus a $2 tip that gets you that $19.99. Oh, and it, 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 do it come with some size or something? Girl, I don't know. I don't know. Do it, I hope it come with like a french fry at least. And I got the half because he was like, you can get wings. You can get wings or you can get half or you can get drumsticks or you can get whole. And I was like, give me half. What's and I and wait, then I asked him what's wait. Maybe I should have just got why didn't I just get wings? I like wings. I did I get a half a chicken? Ain't no way. But it was the same price. Like the half was the same price as the wings. My court court. I was just talking about my girl. Court, I was just talking about you. Oh, I forgot it. Uh, I'm gonna call you back. I got, I'm gonna call you back. All right, y'all. I don't want to be in front of the establishment, you know, eating their chicken like that or whatever. I'm going to let somebody else come up. But them people, they just walked inside, child. They got a Tesla with suicide dogs. I saw they got money. Yeah. Kai just texted me, too. She just texted me back. She said, oh, my God. Because I sent her a photo of the Korean corn dogs in there. I can't believe them. They are literally half the price. You got people rolling in. Oh yeah. I'm glad I'm leaving out because he's trying to get up in here. Honey, how do you get up out of here? I don't know. It's tight in here. <laughs> cause they, I guess because they got that bar. Because a lot of people are actually going to that little bar situation right there. That little yogi thing. But how do you... It says do not enter. How do you get out? Go around this way, and they got parking on the side, and that's about full. Okay, I need y'all to move. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I got a nice little defender. Okay, just focus. Okay, yeah, we gotta go try this chicken. That box real hot. They say they bake it, then they fry. Girl, you don't know. You never have even had it before. You got to come to the back like this? Mm. I want to come out here at night. Mm -mm. Oh, child, that bar is thick up. The men look nice. Jazz some folks. All right. Oh, it's a lot of folks. For oh, I did not know it was this pack. Uh, what's today? Thursday Jasmine. Maybe they have Thursday football. Is it football season? Girl, I don't know. You got a lot of Jasmine, you actually have a lot of questions. Why didn't you turn? Why are you going this way? You had a lot of questions today. I do. Oh, are you about to turn? Girl, I don't know. Move. Oh Lord, everybody coming this way. This person ain't got no lights on. He rolling up behind me like that. Lord. I need to get over here. Y'all, y'all. Oh, ah. so that's why y'all should have been in y'all car seat. Back up. Y'all got the y'all the way. Okay. Everybody just running in. I gotta get from around round here. Listen to me. All the way away. I gotta get from right here. There's a lot happening. Alright. How I got over here? I don't know. Find my way home. Sorry, y'all. Just a lot was happening all at one time. Ain't the sheets over here? Ooh, so you you want to go to sheets and people watch and eat your chicken? Yes! I love it! I love that for us. I wonder if they got a good back-end area where I can back in and do that. 
unfold them arms. All right. Let me see. I think I can do it about right there, Jazz. Mm -hmm. And they got some more little Korean little things on this side, like um, ramen. Or oh, is that Japanese? Is Korean and Japanese the same thing? Are you Korean? Or are you Japanese? What's the difference? Oh, girl. Please don't. Um, don't come for me, okay? In the comments, please. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to try to shake it. I wonder if it comes with some things. Wait, he put garlic spicy and I said garlic soy. That said garlic spicy. He put garlic spicy on my receipt too. And then he gonna hand me the bag. Cause I heard him say garlic spicy, I said garlic soy. He put it in wrong. And he knew it was wrong because he went to go grab my when I got in there he was like garlic spicy and I was like no garlic soy because I didn't want the spicy because I didn't want to be too spicy I already got a lot going on in my little area I don't need that booty hole to be on fire gonna have pepper dancing oh my love jazz please booty hole what I had to finish it <laughs> Finish her, girl. You did not have to, but I did. But I did. All right. I got. He got me spicy. I said soy. He's doing things wrong. It smells some good. Maybe the spicy might be some good. And he said mouth spicy. All you get is chicken. I got a half a chicken. Let me show you what this look like. Hold on, I'm, I'm actually recording on my phone. Okay. I feel like, is what kind of chicken that be getting? That be getting. What kind of chicken that is? Um, they talking about next level fried chicken. That level better be next stuff. I know that. What kind of chicken that is? I got to go back and look at Ruka video. Ruka be getting this chicken when she be going to um, Houston. And she said she always go by there. Is it Korean chicken? I don't know. But I just took a photo. I'm going to take it out of this, this packaging. Oh, it is a lot. Mm. Yeah. Get a better photo for y'all so y'all can see what's going on. All right, now let's try it. I'm hungry, y'all. I think I put hand sanitizer on, but I'm about to redo it because just in case. Just, no, just in case. Okay, let me turn my lights off. Girl, the people, they see you in here with that little light. Did, where the other person went? Let me lock my dogs. They locked. Okay. Let me walk just a little bit just in case somebody wants to stick their tongue through my window. I don't know. You know, people are crazy these days. But hers be like on a little stick. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. All right, listen. We got the chicken. They ain't got no dipping sauce. And they tell extra sauce will be $2. Two whole dollars? Y'all running out. Okay. Oh, these spicy. I said garlic soy. Y'all think I should go back? You pay twenty dollars. I ain't gonna be eat this. Go ahead and buy it into it at least. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, he put it in wrong. Is it good? Yes. Is it spicy? Even yes, more yes. But I feel like that's gonna have my booty hole because my mouth is already on fire. Should I keep it? I don't know. <clears throat> my phone. Oh, I got my phone. Let's call. I'm say, hey, I just came up. I got. I asked for garlic soy. Y'all give me garlic spicy. It's spicy. It's hot. No. Six one four. 
Yeah, that's hot. Nine one four six one. I'm not gonna be able to eat that. And I paid twenty dollars. Mm -mm. Now they tell me I can keep it. I'm gonna keep it and eat it. But at the same time, I want what I paid. Hi. Um, I just left there. I ordered garlic soy. I have garlic spicy. What? What? What's your order number? Um, my order number is and he. Okay. You asking garlic spicy chicken or half chicken? That's what we have in here. No, I didn't ask for that. I asked for soy. He he may have put it in wrong, but I asked for garlic soy, not spicy. Okay, if you uh you getting the wrong order, can you when I coming back now? Yeah. We're gonna checking that one. Yes, I'll it drive back. Take, it, it should take about 10 minutes, so. Okay, I'll drive back. I'll drive back. Okay, you say you want to garlic soy chicken? Yes. Chicken? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, see you then. Okay, bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. He, first of all, I don't think that's the same guy. Second of, uh, second of all, that guy know he put it in wrong. He, he know he did it wrong. Cause even when I went in there, he was like garlic spice. I was like garlic soy. So he started looking at other bags, and he was like looking at the bags, like. And he went, he went to the spicy first. He went to grab, and I was like soy. And he was like, uh, he just went back to the spicy bag and like handed it to me. But when he handed it to me, he handed it to me like this. But I had already peeped that it said spicy. Yeah, it's part of my fault and part of their fault at the same time. But don't play with me like that ever in your life. I'm gonna go back. Come on, y'all. We heading back, girl. I'm gonna call y'all when I get back there. Let me focus here. Y'all, we are. I put the bag over. I I got some laundry that I need to go ahead and get started because it's actually nine o'clock, and I want to wash and dry it tonight. So I went ahead and got started on that ASAP. Okay, now let's try the original one. The only thing is, um, oh, let me see y'all. I don't have no dipping sauce like I like they don't got like ranch and no cheese and I don't think I have any myself. Hold on, is this the right? Is this the new one? No, that's it. It's the garlic spicy. It's really hot. Oh, and then it's the other one. It looks some good. He was like, they actually, when I went back inside, they were really, really nice. He was like, uh, I apologize or whatever. And he was like, keep it and have the other one for dinner. So I ended up keeping both boxes. So he was like, tomorrow's lunch. I was like, okay. But um, I wonder if I can freeze it because I'm not gonna be able to eat all of this chicken between the day and tomorrow. I'll be bad up, y'all. But yeah, so let's try a wing. Yeah. And this is the garlic soy. Girl, I guess they up there bowling again, girl. Mm -hmm. Now this is more like mm -hmm. I just know for a fact that honey garlic would have been so good. And it's actually a lot of chicken. So I really got a whole chicken because I got two halves. And two halves what? Made so whole. Exactly. So. It's 9-12. I was supposed to do a lot today. Ain't nothing get done. That's, that's what I'm saying. Working that third shift, you'll sleep your whole day away. And then it's nighttime and you wanna go outside and play games. And everybody clothes. And ain't nobody out but rob us. This is so I just know for a fact the honey garlic would have been ten times better. It's so good. It's just expensive now, but you do get a lot of food. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna clean up. And I'm gonna hurry back. The way them dogs be having a barking battle. Girl. But y'all gonna sit here and I don't scroll to be it. I'm watching um Chopped and Roots vlog. I'm about to get up now because her vlog is two hours long. And while I'm watching her vlog, I can actually be doing some things. Like get my house together. But um, I was coming over here to say I was going to upload that video tonight. It's 9.34. But when I clicked on it, it's still saying the checks are being. Wait, it says checks starting soon. We need that checks. Girl, let's just say that. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to have to wait. And I'm just going to upload it tomorrow. And that's just going to have to be that. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just clean and everything. And then I'm going to call it a day, maybe. If something else comes about, then I'll check in with y'all. But if not, then I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow, girl. That girl. I slept a couple of hours. And it says that my vlog got uploaded eight hours. I've been uploading for eight hours now. Y'all talking about go long, but mm -mm, stay strong. Fire change is coming. I'm gonna go ahead and Bye. All right, let me pull off before y'all see where I'm at, girl. That's embarrassing. It is. Because you bought them decaf coffee pods and have yet to crack them open. And that's that's a problem. That is a problem. I just be in a rush. That's what I'm saying. I just like, I'm ready to go. I'm just ready to go. And then be complaining when that rent do. Girl, y'all, it is currently 6 30, 30 something like 30, two minutes fast. 36. It's 6 36. I brought my camera with me, but I was trying to be, you know, productive. So I went ahead and took my SD card out and plugged it into my laptop so I can go ahead and start uploading my um, videos that's already on there so I can get started with a new vlog or whatever for you guys so being that i did that i left the sd card at home and i don't got another sd card with me i even bought a backup battery and oil because i was ready to yap but um neither here nor there we still gonna make it move i'm not the type that if i ain't got my camera i can't vlog at all because we're gonna use this phone and we're gonna get this content amen amen all right so just left Duncan. the only thing i got was this oat milk latte it is so light skin i've never seen one this light before i haven't even tried it but it is so light skin so i know they just filled it up with a whole bunch of milk like they went heavy on it is there any coffee in it um, well i ain't mad at that. that's what i'm saying looks can be deceiving y'all over there judging time it's all light skin I'm good. And I didn't get blueberry. I'm trying to cut back on the, a little bit of sugar. So I was like, just two pumps of butter pecan. Because, you know, I normally get two pumps of butter pecan, one pump of blueberry. I said, I'm going to dial it back a bit. I'm going to dial it back. So I did that. But I, you guys remember from yesterday, I had that chicken. That chicken took me out. Took me completely out. I don't know if it was that one piece of hot chicken or if it was just because one mother nature two that's all i ate yesterday for real was that chicken all day long chicken i'm, I'm not even gonna hold y'all i literally ate a half a chicken i literally got two pieces left in that box and then i got that the other box full box of the the um what is it called of the regular chicken so i'm just like jasmine you ate all that's and that's all i ate yesterday What did I do with y'all yesterday? No, I ain't eat no breakfast at all, actually. I just got up, Chad, and went straight to the little chicken house. Girl, it's ghetto, friend. It's ghetto. But right now, we're about to actually go to Marshall's again because now that I think about it, I should have gotten one of those sticks because I actually need it. I'm going to the beach on Sunday. Um, August 25th, August 25th, remember that date. I'm going to the beach on Sunday and I need something to wear. So, but I don't want it to be too heavy because it's actually gonna be a little hot Sunday. So, um, I'm about to go there and then, maybe I should go to the thrift store first? No, I'm gonna go to Marshall's first so I can just knock it all out, right? 
yeah. I'm gonna run to Marshall's. I have to go home. Okay, let me tell you what I did last night. So last night, I ate that chicken, then I did all my cleaning and stuff like that. And then I took out the perimeter of my hair because I need to redo it. That's all I did was took it out, threw this hat on, put it in front of the Girl, I gotta go back home, do the perimeter of my hair. And also, I'm picking up a shift tonight because, yeah, we need our queens. So, um, I need to make sure I get back home at a decent time. Like, maybe at like, oh, I am pushing it. It's 6.40, so 6.40. If I can get back home by 8 o'clock. Why am I not turning? Because that's where you need to be at. I don't know. If I can get home by eight, that'd be good. Reason being, um, the thrift store closed at eight o'clock. So if I go into Marshall, see what I can find real quick, like, then I gotta go to the grocery store because I need to find, I need to get something to eat. It sounds like a lot. I know I do. I know. It sounds like a lot. I know I do a lot. Because it sounds like a lot. It is a lot. I ain't even hold you. It's a lot. But. We're gonna, figure, we're gonna figure this thing out. Oh, was that a turning lane? That is a turning lane. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can do it right here. I feel like I came over here and I did this the last time I had it up. I went down. I did it. It is. Went down and did a U turn. I don't know why I don't think Jasmine just keeps straight at that light. I mean, turning at that light, that first light. <clears throat> but that's neither here nor there. We right here. Um, but yeah, I need to go find something. I want to go to the thrift store just see if I can do a find a little pickup. I also need to go to Walmart or somewhere because I want I need a white, like a pearly white. It's mm, pearly white, is a white white. Basically, I want a white um nail polish so I can redo my toes. I'm doing white. Last time I had them pink. Oh, that's what I did today. I went ahead and took that off my feet. Then I got up and, and I was ready for the day. I was so ready. I was like, yes. I even went to the gym this morning and okay, it was a little later than expected. At nine, but I actually got up today at like 540-ish. 540 this morning. So I was like, cool. I did my Bible study. Y'all, my Bible study was a little bit. I was like, God, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not understanding. Like, and I I really think one. When my cycle's on, the brain fog, y'all already know, it's so for real. So, it's like, I couldn't even get it. I'm like, I'm not even getting it. And then it was first thing in the morning. So, I was like, let me, you know, come back and resonate on this. So, I went ahead and took my shower, um, got dressed for the day or whatever. And then I went back into my work. And when I did my soap method, I literally, for my prayer today, I was like, God. I said, first, I always say, thank you, God, for the day or whatever. So, I was telling him, thank you. And I said, God, today was... Um, Today's word was a little hard for me to understand. I ask that you please uh, help me to understand it, uh, your scripture for today um, throughout the day. But it was just, I don't know, it was just kind of hard. But as they say, lean on God. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I, it's a lot of folks out here just asking, well, it's Friday, what you thought? Okay. But yeah, oh, I need to run. As soon as I leave out of here, I need to run over to Dollar Tree because I got to get more alcohol, you know, to clean this up. But yeah, let's run here. We're going to make this quick because if I don't see nothing, I'm out. Like, I'm not about to come in here and play. I'm going to see if they got that butter pecan syrup. I'm going to just look. Girl, okay. Come on, y'all. Y'all, these pants are so cute. But, oh, it's not even showing up the, the right color on this phone. And they're actually from Zara. That's why it's a large. I was about to say they're so big. And they're only $8. Okay, y'all. So, I actually did not find anything inside of Marshall's. So, now I'm currently right across the street at um, Dollar Tree. So, I can run in there and grab um, some alcohol really quickly. And then right after, because I forgot I need beach shoes. And I know they have them at that thrift store. But I was wondering if they had some at five. Because I kind of, I mean, I could get the ones from the thrift store. I know they're not refundable, I believe, though. We'll see, we'll see. But it's almost 7 o'clock, or it's probably 7 o'clock right now. So I'm literally just running here to grab that, and then I'm going to leave right out and go straight to the thrift store. And the thrift store is not far from here. So let's do it. 
Okay, y'all, so now we're currently on the way to the thrift store. I end up getting the alcohol out of um, Dollar Tree. So I love the way Chelsea wear her, um, Chelsea Janae here on YouTube. I love the way she wear her trousers. I think they're just so cute. I'm gonna see if I can find me some trousers. So yeah, and then that way I can have those to wear to church also. Cause yes, my church is very um, casual, come as you are. But some days I do want to kind of like put a little bit of effort in my um, wardrobe, like my outfit for the day or whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find me some little dress pants. You know what I'm saying? For church, I need some more church clothes, girl. This Sunday at church, we're gonna be having like a huge service. So like it's supposed to be like one of the annual service that they have each year. So I want to, um, what are they doing? I'm so lost. Um, so I want to make sure I look nice, you know? So yeah, I'm excited. But I just need to find something. Remember the last time I went to Marshalls, I, had, I bought that green shirt. I haven't worn that yet, but I don't think I want to wear that. I think I want to wear something. Else, something maybe a little lighter so that's what I was looking for inside of Marshalls and also something for the beach but I now that I think about it real hard I, I think I have something at home am I am I am I passing it no okay. I think I have something at home no not at home I got the bottoms at home I just need to go to Target to get a tank like a black tank in which I can probably just do that tomorrow because tomorrow is Saturday. Um, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll go to Target and get a tank so that I can cut down some time. And right now, I'm just going to go to the thrift store, see what I can find out of the thrift store, and just go from there. The sun, child. And just go from there. But yeah, I need to get home so I can redo the front of this hair. Well, the perimeter of it. I need to wash it because it's filthy. But honestly, I'm off this Sunday because I uh, switched my shifts. So actually, this Sunday, I'm probably going to go ahead and take that hair out anyways. Um, after I leave the beach and everything like that. I'm going to take this hair out, wash it, probably do it again. Girl, I told y'all, if y'all see me with the same hairstyle until the end of the year, I don't want to hear a thing, okay? I don't want to hear nothing, okay? I think I need to get over now. I think so, too. In his car, he had like he he got somewhere to be checked. So I'm gonna let him get where he need to be. Yeah. So I keep forgetting it's another Dollar Tree right here. Y'all, I, I was about to say where I need to be out here looking for is a dish rack. <laughs> what is he doing? Is a dish rack? Cause yeah, I'm gonna call y'all once we get inside the thrift store. Bye. All right, I ended up getting three pairs of trousers. They're super cute. Um, there was one pair, the very first pair that I tried on, they was a little bit short, but when I had looked inside, like flipped the pants over like the inside, I noticed that it's um, extra space. I should say extra fabric underneath like the leg and I can cut where they seamed it together. I can cut it and then get it re sealed. Hopefully that makes this makes sense. But I feel like I've seen this somewhere before where someone's like, oh, um, if you buy like short pants, let me show y'all what it looks like real quick so y'all can kind of know what I'm talking about. If you buy pants and it's not the same, it's not the correct length, just flip the pants over and see if it has extra fabric. So it actually does. You see how they, um, what is this called? Threaded this part together. It's actually extra fabric so I can unthread that and loosen it out. So that'd be perfect because some people when they go get their stuff tailored to make it shorter. So say someone who was shorter than me got these pants and they actually got it tailored and all they did was fold the fabric over and then stitch it. So I'm gonna unstitch it and put it back. So yeah. So that's that. And I'm getting three pair of pants. I looked at the swim shoes that they had in there. They were $9.99 and there was only one in my size and I didn't like the look of it. So I'm gonna continue to look and see what I can find. Um, it's 7.50 right now, so I got about 10 minutes. 
I'm gonna go home and make some broccoli potatoes. And then I got two pieces left for chicken. So I'm gonna eat that. That's gonna be dinner tonight, amen. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and redo the front of my hair. So if I don't talk to y'all again tonight, then I will definitely catch you all tomorrow, which is Saturday. And I'm trying to think, Saturday, I really gotta find every little, every little thing else that I need, like the white polish and all of that. So bye. Hello, good people. Hello, y'all. It's the next day. Yeah, I talked to y'all last night before I went. I redid the front of my hair. I only literally did the front row of the perimeter, if that makes sense. Um, I got up not too long ago. I got dressed for today, put myself together, girl. Now we currently we're not really at Ross. We at we well, I need to go into Ross too, girl. But first, we got to go to Five Below because first thing first, I need to make sure I get is some water shoes. That is Tom already. Girl, it's some water shoes. So, um, I'm going to go in there first because I saw online that they say they had some. So, I hope online ain't lied to me. Then I need to go to Target also too because, whoa. I need to go to Target also too because I need to get, um basically this shirt that i have on but i just need to get it in black it's so crazy because i wore the tan one yesterday and then this morning i gravitated towards this one but yeah let's see if they have some water shoes hopefully they do hi oh yeah they do they're literally right in front of my face oh they got my size oh y'all want to see huh hold on okay so this is the ones that they have I was thinking maybe I should just get black. But these sizes is big. They like 10, 12, 12, 10, like men sizes. A nine. I don't even see an eight. At this point, if I get an eight in anything, I'll be happy. Uh, oh, eight. Perfect. It's the last one, too. I hope it fits. Me, too. Okay, actually, they're too big, and I need a size 7. I guess they run big, because I'm usually a size 8. So, I don't, I'm not sure about that. It said Walmart has some in, like, the kids' section. Oh, this is ghetto. Okay, let me keep looking, y'all. Hold on. Today doesn't feel like a Saturday, but being that people are out, I can tell it's a Saturday. Okay, so right now, I'm about to go inside of Ross. Um, to see if I can find something to wear to the beach. Um, also, see if maybe if they have beach shoes in here or not. Let's do this. Okay, so I didn't find any water shoes or I did not find... Um, I was looking at some tops. I took some pictures just in case I need to come back. But really quickly, I'm about to run over to... I don't know if I should go to Gabe's first or Burlington. I don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i think i'm gonna run to gabe's first yeah i'm gonna go to gabe's real quickly to see what i can find out of there because i prop nine times out of ten i'm probably gonna wear one of the bottoms and i gotta go to walmart because i need washing powder because i need to wash my clothes but i need to grab some um grab a top but nine times out of ten i'm gonna wear one of the bottoms that i bought yesterday from the thrift store and um yeah and I can do the whole dry cleaner thing, but I kind of want to wash them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, with the dry cleaner, is, it's not a submerged in the water. Girl, yeah. But, yeah, so um, really quickly, let's run to Gabe's. Okay, y'all. So, that was in and out, girl. I couldn't find a thing in there. Like, I couldn't find nothing. Like, not even a shoe. So, now I'm about to run to... Burlington. Remember that time I went to Burlington? That was the first and the last time I went, but I'm about to go back because they might have something. Fingers crossed. So I guess I'll catch you guys at Burlington. <sighs> Jasmine. Okay, bye. Y'all, I'm back at Ross. Reason being, I did not know Ross closed at 9 o'clock, or I forgot Ross closed at 9 o'clock. It's 8 26. There is like this vest situation that I was thinking about if I don't find nothing anywhere else then i'll come back and grab that so i can wear it to church tomorrow i'm about to just go ahead and buy it and if it does if i find something else then i'll just have it to wear maybe a different sunday or something 
I'll probably just keep it because I do like it. So, and I took pictures of it. It was three different ones that I like, and I just decided just now which one I think I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. I know exactly where it's at. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that, check out, and then head over to head over to Burlington Knits. Yeah, I am so like it's warm outside, but when you get inside these stores, it's so cold. All right, ooh, in the line long. All right, gotta go back. Y'all, I just got the weirdest compliment, but it was sweet. Um, I was inside, and then inside of Ross, and the girl at the register, she was like, I like your hair, and I was like, thank you. And then she, she was like, you have such a smooth voice. Do you hear that a lot? And I was like, no, but thank you. Girl, this is my sleepy voice, my tired voice, my I'm, I'm out of commission voice, girl. Anywho. This is a vest situation that I got. It's so cute. It's not the one that I actually wanted. The one that I wanted, I think somebody had already grabbed it. Um, I needed it in a size small. All they had was medium. And I didn't want to have like too much of gapping down here. So I didn't get the medium one. But I did get the small. It's like a, you can't really see the color that good. But it's like a creamish color with like these gold buttons and the black trimming. And I like how it has that little pattern on it. So I ended up getting that. Um, now, real quick, I'm about to go to Burlington to see what I could find out of Burlington. I'm trying to think, do I need? Yeah, I do. Because the only thing, I just need, like, something. I had to go to the thrift. I think the thrift store is open tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. But at the church, I might have to just, like, go to a thrift store or something. Um, I might go back to the one that I went to. Let me see if they're open tomorrow. If so, that'd be cool. And I could just go there and get those. I think they were like $10. Um, and I can grab those because I don't have to be to the beach until 4.15. But I kind of want to get there at like 3.45. Just, you know, a little earlier. So that I kind of want to get there at 3.30. To beat some of the traffic that's going to be out there. Yeah, I might need to actually do that. Okay, so Chick-fil-A closes at 10. I think I'm going to go there and get a salad. I might. Because I was thinking maybe I could just eat like... Um, I kind of want pancakes, girl. And I got some at the house. Some blueberry pancakes. A little sausage in it, girl. That ain't never hurt nobody before. I might do that. Ciao. I just might do that, but I don't know. Okay, let me see where I'm at. I'm trying to figure out my next step for real. Okay, I need to go. I got to go to Walmart for sure. So what you going to Burleson for? I was going to see if they had some. Burleson going to be real quick. I'm be in and out, in and out. Okay, so. <laughs> let me figure me out, and I'm going to call y'all right back. Okay, y'all. So we are currently on the way to chick-fil-a we ain't done this in a while we have not done this in a while um i'm gonna get the grilled chicken this time hopefully you know it works out well for your girl so i'm gonna go with the grill and i'm gonna get some french fries so i want some french fries and i hope it's some good if not i'm gonna be mad <laughs> I'm just kind of, I'm kind of tired today. Like, I'm tired. I don't know why. Oh, but I need to get something. I know, I know you lying. Oh, they still open. Okay, I need to get something to eat right now because I still got to go to Walmart to pick up a few things. I do need washing powder. That's my main reason I need to go to Walmart because I have to wash my clothes tonight, but I am out of washing powder. So... Hi. Good. It's Jasmine. Um, can I get the grilled chicken sandwich, please? Grilled chicken sandwich. Would you get the meal? Uh, yes. No tomatoes on the sandwich, please. Medium fries again. Yes. Any drink with that? Um, uh, water with water. two lemons. Yes. Water with lemon. Mhm. Mm Anything else with that meal? Um, also, can I get two barbecue sauces, please? No, one barbecue sauce, one Chick-fil-A sauce. One barbecue, one Chick-fil-A? Yes, sir. Anything else with me? No, sir. All right, so one grilled chicken, 
one grilled sandwich with no tomato, medium fries, medium water with black, two lemons, one barbecue, one chip fry? Yes. Thank you. You too. Okay, so oh look at the halal truck up there. That would be so good. But that booty hole be on fire. Remember that chicken I had bought? Yeah, I still got that whole chicken. Yeah, I need you to go. I still got that whole chicken in the fridge i'm not gonna be able to eat that y'all because mm -mm, the way my stomach was okay the chicken that i went back and got just not the spicy one the regular one it was still like a little bit spicy so i had to mm. and then i had some last night those yes okay no problem those last two pieces at work i had last night felt a little rumble but i drank a lot of water so i'm good but the other one that's like the real spicy one, I definitely cannot eat that. Like, I cannot eat that. So, yeah. I got weird emotions right now. What is that about? What is that about? And I hope them fries is not lukewarm. Because what temperature are they cooking it at? Maybe they'd be fresh because it's late at night. They're getting ready to close and maybe they're going to make it fresh. Or they may be giving you what's left. Might be. What was the name? Jasmine. Thank you. They warmer than usual. I'm gonna do some hand sanitizer. I'm gonna eat that part. Give it to the ants. Okay. I just need to pull over for like two seconds so I can eat this. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten it. Is this like this working third shift and getting up late? It's just I don't get it. I don't get it. And then like let me go over here where a little bit of light at. And then like um you guys know that the time is about to change again very soon. So it's like uh, back to that again. Let me lock my door. Like back to that again and then if you guys know anything about Ohio during that time the sun don't ever come out so I need to make time to be able to travel a little bit during those times so I don't get stuck in a rut Mm -hmm. I feel like the last time I came I got a grilled sandwich and it was I don't know the medium fry definitely gave small I'm tired of Chick-fil-A and eat crap <laughs> alright y'all obviously I'm currently home I wanted to show y'all this I was going to tell y'all in the car but I said I'm going to wait till I get to the house to show them now, we saw this before when I went to the uh, went to Burlington, but I didn't get it because I didn't think it would fit my sink. But I got it this time. This one was $9.99. It's the one that comes out like this. And it doesn't fit. <gasps> but if I turn it this way, it fits. Look, instead of the way that it has it on the picture. Okay, you see how the picture is going across the entire sink? I can't do all of that. My, my sink is just a little too big for that. But it can go this way. Yeah. And one of my roommates, she was like, Jasmine, since you have, I forgot what kind of sink she said this was, um, put it 
use it separate like as two things and i kind of think this may be what she meant like to put it like this and make it look like two and that way i'm washing my dishes on it ain't mini in there but i'm washing my dishes on this side and i put it here and it works yay okay i got that from burlington and then i also got this two-piece set from burlington as well just this linen piece and then this i got it in a size medium and this was, I think, $12, $14.99. dollars yeah. And then I went to Walmart and picked up a few things. Hold on. Yeah. I picked up this. This one, I'm really, I want to try this out. This is only a dollar and some change. It's pineapple and lily. It's the wax melt. It smells so good. And then I got some other stuff that I need. Y'all want to see that girl stuff okay the black top that i had got from ross was this one it was only 3.99 because i just need a black little tank situation so i did get this from ross and then maybe you guys can see this a little bit better on my camera and at the house so this is the best i'm gonna be wearing to the church tomorrow oh. but yeah i may actually can wear that underneath this or i got like a bando thing it's kind of it's a full size bando i can just wear that underneath that underneath this yeah, we're at church tomorrow. Got the laundry going right now, as you guys probably could hear. Um, Cause it's 10:40 and I need to wash and dry tonight. So I gotta do what I gotta do. I work for shift. I can't help it. But yeah, so that's that. Um, really quickly, there's a couple things that I do need to do, like my toes. I need to do that. I'm gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna go in and just do. Cause I did the first mm, girl, the first row, but you can definitely see the new growth here so i'm gonna go through and do another row um the second row and only on the front of my hair though and then um i really just want to get some rest i just want to get some rest and i need to file my nails down because i think i'm scratching my face because i got like a whip you probably can see it like right here i think maybe at night time i'm scratching my face so i need to like shape my nails because i do got a a few pieces that's like kind of sharp edges i need to like file my nails down so yeah okay. but yeah so that's that um i think what I'm, I'm i don't even think i know what i'm gonna do the month of september i don't think i'm gonna do duncan because after i did a little evaluation um of how much i had duncan this week and last week is it's been too much okay oh and one of my roommates she commented i posted a vlog yesterday she commented on the vlog she said um baby girl that's not what she said <laughs> or it could have been a heat i don't know i didn't really look at the name i just kind of like read the comment but they were like um if you put your curate on the counter then you would remember to get yourself but by the time that you guys see well in that vlog i didn't even buy hold on something okay so in that vlog i actually had forgot to buy the decaf but i already bought the decaf and i still ain't pulled it out so that's my problem so what we're about to do right now at this very moment is take this curate from under this camera because i'm not buying i'm not going to dunk it I, wait i'm not going to see the whole month of september because i'm having company the the first week of september so i don't want to be like and we might want to eat Duncan just once. But you know what I'm saying? Outside of that, I'm not going to Duncan and I'm cutting back on my eating out for sure. Because this week, this week just been kind of off for me. Um, the beginning of the week started off great. Like, I ate at home. I had double, double the service. Like, I was good. But the end part, it was just like, I don't want to see that kitchen. I don't want to take a pot out. I don't want to do that. I don't want to make my own coffee. Like girl but yeah so coffee and all that is gonna be at the house next month other than the weekend that i'm having company um because yeah i'm gonna be having company so i i am gonna entertain and then um yeah and then well i coffee be at church so I, but i don't gotta pay for it so yeah that's good and yeah i think that's it I'm be at the house. I'm be at the crib. Do what we do. So, okay. 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 Okay.
gonna get her ready. I'm not gonna have a cup of coffee tonight, of course, because I kind of want to go to bed a little early so I can wake up with a fresh mind. Um, cause tomorrow is it's gonna be a very long day. Tomorrow's August 25th. It's gonna be a very long day tomorrow, so I wanna uh, get some rest tonight. Cause I am exhausted. Yeah. All right. First thing first, let's take her out. Of her little thing she been she been in her box child since i got her which was oh god when did i get this two years ago no not two years ago a year ago yeah a whole year that is <laughs> it is so crazy because i prayed for this i said oh god i hope i win so i can get my own curate i'm gonna start making my little stuff at the house girl and i won and a year later so much can happen in one year, y'all. One year. So much can happen. Just a year ago. That was just that was a whole year ago. Oh. And look where I'm at. God is so amazing. It's just so amazing. And you know what? I almost wanted to get in my head because I'm like, I don't see where I'm saving money, but I put money aside every single every single week. I say every single month, every single week. But being that I can't see it, it's like, and I can't, I can't get it, I can't get it back to after six months. It's like I don't, I feel like I don't have it. But I gotta keep reminding myself, just yes, you do. You put it up, like. If you would have had it, you would have been in a dibbling and dabbling, exactly. But it's like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, Jasmine, you have it, but it's it's just not, it's not accessible. It's not attainable. Mm. It's not available to you right now, but you have it. And you put it up. You know what I'm saying? So I was getting my head, I'm like, oh my God, like I don't see where I'm saving. Like every week it's, I gotta pay this, I gotta pay that, I gotta pay that. But still... Jasmine, you don't realize you do have money. Like, you do have it put up. You just can't get it back right now. And you you have to be responsible enough. Make sure every single week you put that money up, you're helping your future self. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be so much rewarding when it comes to, that end, to the end. And tonight, I'm just like, ugh, like more money i'm pushing on more money i hate spending money and it's like i'm trying to hold on to it so bad and it's like how big is your faith for real you don't have faith that you can get it back you don't you, you really i don't know how to explain it. it's like i know that the money is there and i know i can get it after six months but it's just like I still want to see something in my account as well. Girl, I'm trying to have my cake and eat it too. Girl. Shoot. But no. Come on, y'all. Let's do this. Let's do this. I need y'all. Oh, crap. I need y'all more than y'all. But, um. But, yeah. When that time's come, I think I'm a. I don't know. I'm, I don't think I'm going to cash out the whole thing. I think I'm going to cash out just enough to pay rent for like two months. And then I'm going to, yeah, enough to pay for rent for two months. And then I'm going to leave the rest in there. In there, And then those two months, I can just like, oh, breathe, okay? Breathe again, breathe again, girl. But yeah. All right. I don't know if I was supposed to plug it up just yet, but I did. First of all, let's read the instructions because how do you even read that? Where are the instructions? I must have took it out when I opened the box. <sighs> and where did you put it? I don't know. Girl, I'm excited. You can also do, wait, freshly ground coffee from the leading coffee brand fills our K-Cup pods. How, how do you clean it for the first time? Cause then it gotta be cleaned out. Yes. First of all, let's take the stickers off, girl. I'm excited. Okay, got the stickers off. Well, one of them. And she's so cute and green, like right? she's green. Come on, she is cute. Take the stickers off the bottom. Hold on, let me bring y'all down so y'all can see. Uh oh, they said get us out of here. Ouch. I know 
you got that clean in it. Hold on. Oh, uh oh, look at the little light. That's when it's open for the first time. How do you? Okay, it gotta be some instructions. Okay, there's even a little piece back here. I had opened it in my last, last apartment. But, oh, that's a little bit of thing. What? Is this where the water? Okay, so this is where the water go. How can I? How can I? I wonder how can I do like a little test or like rinse it out. Hold on, let me get maybe a little cup, Jasmine. Okay. It should be just like regular because I feel like my mama got, okay, she don't got one of these. Hers is a little bit more professional, but you know what I mean? It do the same job. Okay, so boom. So say we put one of those. Boom. I hate to be wasteful, but I do have some other curate cups. Oh, oh my God. Jasmine. Okay. When I realize, like, you need to be utilizing your stuff so. <laughs> like, sister girl. But I'm really, I'm 5'4", y'all. I'm not sure at all. So don't, don't think that. I'm 5'4". Oh my god. Okay. Well, that's how tall I was the last time I checked. So I do have these. I had these ever since I had this. Oh, I wonder if there's if there's still some good. This is a definitely a year old. Girl, it expires <gasps> September 24th, 2024. It says, oh my god. Hold on, let me show y'all this. Y'all gotta see this. September 24th, 2024. That's next month, y'all. I had this. I bought this when I had won this for my job. Because um, I was like, I'm going to stop making my stuff at the house. I'm going to stop going to Dunkin'. And, and look. Look, girl. But this one has caffeine in it. And it's 10 cups in here. So, we're just going to do a dummy one. Because you guys know I'm not doing the whole caffeine thing right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to utilize it. Because I do have them, so I'm not gonna like let them go to waste, but we'll see about it. But, yeah, and then when I have company next next month, um, hold on, maybe I should add some more water. When I have company next month, maybe we can try a different coffee shop. Like we don't have to necessarily go to Dunkin', you know. Maybe I can try a new coffee shop and you can try one with me. That'd be dope. I just gotta plan out the whole thing. I'm so excited. My first time hosting. Okay, so boom. It sound about simple. Maybe it's getting the water together. Y'all hit it. It's boiling, girl. I'm excited. And then this is the coffee that I had got last time. This one is decaf. And this one, this is caffeinated. This one I just bought, so these some good. These bite out. But I'm gonna leave them out. Maybe I need to get a little thing for like, like maybe this could be like my coffee section. So, cause you know when things look appealing to the eye, you want to utilize it. So maybe I should like make like a coffee station up over here. Cause I've been seeing the girls do that, but they be having like a little cart, and I ain't got no cart. But maybe we can do that. Set up a little coffee station. Then what do I do? Wait, is it done? Oh no. What where the water went? Do I press this? Okay, we let the water boil. What that mean? Okay, press it. I don't know. Maybe it's, oh, it's boiling now. That's what it is, the light lighting up like that. Flash, I gotta find a manual. Okay, yeah, you do. Okay, it's doing a little flash. We gonna let it do it. But yeah, I think that'd be dope if I make like a little coffee section. And then I already got a few things. Oh my God, it smells so good. 
It's not so good, y'all. Oh. oh my god. The best part of waking up is dunking in your cup. Girl. Y'all see that? They see it, Dad. They see it. Oh my. If y'all could smell it. Mm. It made me want to drink it. We know. We know. I might just have a little girl. It's supposed to be a taste shot. You probably got all kind of dust bunnies in that thing. <laughs> I can't breathe. Okay. Oh, evaporation. I was like, what is that? Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm going to make me a cup of coffee for church in the morning instead of getting some from church. Um, I'm just going to give me some. I'm going to make my own here at the house. Let me see what it looks like. And it's real hot. Oh my God, you're beautiful. See any dust bunnies? Oh my God, it smells so good. Y'all, we just made our first coffee. Girl. And this is the only my cabinet. Waiting for you to utilize it, girl. Oh, I was in the car on the way home and I was uh, thinking, I was like, this was a great weekend. Um, today, uh, today I got a little frustrated because I'm just, like I said earlier today, it's just like having to wake up late and like half of my day is gone and I'm trying to rush to do things. It. It's bothering me obviously um so one i need to look into see about changing my shift at work for sure for sure i keep saying that but they keep saying also too they ain't got no shifts available but they just started like a new hire situation so maybe they'll have something available and i gotta get uncomfortable because i'm so comfortable on the shift that i'm on because i know every like not everyone but i know a lot of people and a lot of people know me um as far as like management and stuff like that because i've been on that shift for two years but you know besides that um yeah so i was in my head about that i was like oh like my whole day is over with or whatever i still got things to do and i still got so much tomorrow and um then i had stopped and i said jasmine Today, this, uh, not today, because y'all said this weekend was actually a really good weekend. I really enjoyed myself this weekend. We did something out of the norm. We went to the movies. That was cool. That was actually, like, really, really cool. Um, I had an uncomfortable conversation that I didn't speak about. I'm not going to speak about it because it's private to me, and that's something I want to keep to myself. I had an uncomfortable conversation this weekend. Um... <sighs> Even earlier, not even just this weekend, but I was thinking about like earlier in the week, like how I prep my food and like everything was just like so amazing and how I felt like at work, sitting in my car, eating my lunch. Like I made this at the house and this was so good. It was so good. And I was just thinking, God, like I have everything that I need pretty much to be ready for tomorrow. I also looked online and Volunteer of America, which you guys remember, we went there just the day before yesterday. Or was that yesterday? That probably was yesterday. Can't remember. It was yesterday because that's when I went to. That's when I got the trousers. So day before yes, day before yesterday. Yesterday when we went to the thrift store, um, I did see that they have swim uh, shoes. So I looked online and they're actually open tomorrow at 11. But um, at that, right after I get out of church, I'm going to go straight there, grab those, and then I should be good um, to go to the beach at, right after. Well, not right after, but I should be good to go to the beach. Um, why do I want to say right after again? I don't know. Just say you'll be good to go to the beach. Okay, I'll be good to go to the beach. I'll have everything that I need, so I'll be good. But yeah, and then I just had to say and think like, you're good like you're good and that's the enemy the of the devil whatever you want to call it tries to attack your mind and make you think like oh you should have did this or you should have did that or you didn't do this and you didn't do that but i had to constantly remind myself jasmine no you had an amazing weekend you had an amazing weekend you did everything that you pretty much wanted to do you needed to do you did that thing 
Yes, you ate out a lot. Yes, you went to Dunkin' a lot. Oh, that's another thing I want to talk about too. I was thinking about this turning in, which was weird. Um, oh, because I saw a comment. I saw a comment. Okay, yeah, from one of my roommates. But um, it made me think like, back to the book, your thinking. It goes to your thinking. So if you're thinking these bad thoughts, that's what you're gonna tell your, send that signal to your body and tell your body like oh, i haven't done enough like or whatever but then when i immediately started filling my my thoughts with the things that i did do and the things that i did get done i felt so much better like you know i'm like oh yeah like i came in here you guys saw the whole coffee situation like i'm in such a better spirit because it's like i got this thing done and i could be a little bit emotional right now because you know mother nature but still at the same time yeah, we did the thing this week, babe. So we did the thing this week. Next week, we're going to pray about it. But this week, we did it, okay? So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm excited. Um, But what I wanted to talk about was a comment that I saw. Hold on, let me see. She was like, and it just made me think. She said, girl, you be, hold on, I'm screenshot her. Her name is Morgan Precious 51. She was like, girl, you be helping me. You are so right. The way we look at things, ask God to show you and show you you in every situation. And I love the fact that she said that because it made me think while I was in the car. It was like, it's maybe a little bit off topic, but this is where my mind drifted off to a bit. It's like, you don't have to be real with nobody in this world no other human being just be real with yourself if you have to have those private conversations with god like in that video i was talking about like jealousy so if you have to have those private conversations with god just asking him like god take this feeling away from me or take these these jealous ways from me or god soften my heart like have those private conversations with him but at the end of the day be real with yourself like you don't have to tell people like oh, I really don't like this about myself or tell people about your insecurities. You don't have to do that. You don't have nothing to prove to people. Just be with, real with yourself at the end of the day and go to God and talk to him if that's what you, or whatever source it is that you believe in. Or if you don't believe in anything, be real with yourself. Start off there, like just being real with yourself. How do you really feel? And have that uncomfortable conversation with yourself. I know I talked about having uncomfortable conversations with people. But sometimes you got to sit and have that conversation also with yourself. You got to look within and be like, okay, Jasmine, why are we feeling this way? Why are we having these negative thoughts? Why this? Why that? And really talk and ask God to remove whatever it is that you may be feeling at that moment. Remove it from you, you know? So, yeah. I had a, a, a lot of uh, not a lot of it's been like this same uncomfortable conversation that i've been having with god that i don't want to share here of course but i've been having that conversation literally like all week long um and the way he moves is so crazy <laughs> it's so crazy but um yeah just have that be real with yourself you don't have to go on social media you don't have to even tell your best friend your partner just keep maybe keep it's something you want to keep to yourself it's okay to keep something to yourself you don't have to tell it all um but at the end of the day be real with yourself you can't be real with nobody else be real with yourself if you know for a fact you need to stop eating at dunkin and spending money at dunkin then have that conversation with yourself jasmine cut it out it out and I like to use myself as an example just to show people that one you're not alone and two before you be so quick to talk about somebody else and judge someone else look at yourself like look within you look at what things that you may have to work on look at how you you may not be going through the same situation as someone else but you may have had similar situations or something that you know you could Rem that reminds yourself of maybe something that they may be going through you know what i'm saying but just take that time instead of like sitting back and judging other people about things that they do have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with yourself have that uncomfortable conversation with yourself and just be like yeah you're right i am a little crazy inside Girl. okay i don't know how to be serious sometimes but y'all know y'all get what i'm saying here but yeah just just do that just do that and 
yeah just just take a moment just take a moment and just think about some things like if you know you be lying all the time okay ask god the guy take that little lying spirit out of me you know what i'm saying like just have that uncomfortable conversation with yourself and and with god and just you see how you become more open and also you get other people more grace because you know that you're not perfect nobody is perfect so you're you're able to give more people grace for the things that they may do or if they're on a walk with jesus or whatever their path is you know how to give them grace because you know yourself you yourself is not perfect so you can like looking at yourself as like okay i do have some things some flaws that i need to work on as well so i can't sit here and, and look at the next person and be like Oh, you need to be doing this, 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 that, that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. But if I look in that mirror and I turn things around and I, I go inward, I'm like, okay, there's some things I need to work on as well. And you, and then you'll get be able to give people more grace for the things that they may be going through or whatever, you know. But yeah, take a moment and look at yourself especially before you go to anybody's video or anybody not necessarily video but if you're on tiktok or instagram or anybody's platform before you be so quick to say oh you say this and you you believe in god and da da da, da but you do an x y and z remember you're not perfect remember what somebody may be doing is no better than what you be doing okay it, it ain't even or better or worse you know what i'm saying like we all sin. We're humans. Even the thoughts that you have is a sin. You may not have taken action on, on it, but even some thoughts that you have, just go inward. And I don't know, it just made me like think like, not that I don't care about other people, but it's like, I give grace to them because it's not easy. It's not an easy walk, you know? So yeah, give grace and mind your business. Jasmine, see you ain't had to go that far. It came out. <laughs> it came out just a little bit. Girl, okay. Anywho, this coffee smells so good, y'all. I hate I got a whole house. I hate that too. Maybe just a little girl. It's 11 o'clock. You're going to be up in here wired up. And it might be some dust bunnies in there. It don't look like it. I'm about to pour it out for y'all. That was a trial run. You know what's I'm good. I know you lying. Yeah. Was we? Ain't no way we was talking for. Was we talking for 30 minutes just now? We just got home. We did. It's 11.07. What time I say it was 10.30 something. So it's been about 30. Listen here. I just poured the coffee out. And I'm glad I did because I was saying. I don't know if it caught because the, the thing had automatically stopped because it said, girl, you've been going too long. Stay strong, change is coming. But, um, what? I gotta stop talking because I don't know how long this vlog is. Okay, listen, real quick, real quick, real quick. I poured the coffee out. Reason, I'm glad I did because in the morning when I get up, I'll be eager to make my own coffee before church and I'm gonna show y'all what it comes out, tastes like, and be like. Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and finish off tonight doing the things that I need to get done real quick. I want to be in bed at least about 1 a.m. 11. All of 11. All of 12. About two hours. Okay, um, and then, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the morning for church. Bye. Remember, August 25th. August 25th. Okay, bye. <laughs>
I might look a little weird because the back or whatever but church was amazing today super super amazing we had this Sunday was it was called um one big party um they do it pretty much every year where they, we just invite a lot of people from outside to come in to uh come in to visit the church today and everything like that i wanted to invite somebody but i didn't have anyone to invite but yeah i could invite y'all ain't it Y'all came, y'all was there. Girl, y'all said y'all ain't had nothing to wear to church today. So I was like, all right, I'm not about to fuss fight with y'all. I'm not going back and forth. Y'all figure that out, all right? But I hope to see y'all on next Sunday. But it was amazing today. Um, it's so many people here, y'all. Like, so many people. I'm going to just sit in my car and wait until it sort of kind of clear out a little bit. The next service starts at 12. It's 11.47. Let's say 11.45. Y'all know my clock two minutes fast. 11.45 right now so I'm just gonna wait for like a second or two um and let some of this clear out before I try to move out but y'all did y'all see how many times I attempted that coffee today y'all well y'all only saw it two times I only recorded two times but I attempted again the third time and it came out a lot better what I did was I made the coffee then I put my regular oat milk um vanilla unsweetened in it then I took some heavy whip and I did two caps of the uh salted no, the caramel pecan, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I think that's what I got, caramel pecan. I put two pumps in my um, whipped cream and then I whisk it or whisk, stirred it up a bit. Then put in my drink and it was actually a lot better. It was okay, it was just a lot better, but it wasn't like, I can tell, I'm not gonna get that coffee again. I think I need more of a Dunkin' decaf coffee because I could tell it was very decaffeinated um so yeah i don't know we're gonna see about that but right now well when i leave i'm gonna actually go to the thrift store because remember i told y'all yes i'm going to the thrift store go ahead and grab those beach shoes everybody got their little um starbucks fall drinks y'all know they got their um their fall uh menu had just came out somebody was talking about it on on the uh, conference call the other day that we had for church somebody was talking about that oh remember i told y'all yeah i'm gonna try to go to sleep at about one o'clock i'm gonna try to get into bed at least by one o'clock girl i ain't never go to sleep i it's so I, what i should have did honestly was taking like a benadryl and i tried to drink some of that like bedtime tea but by that time i was I only had about like three hours left or so before i had to get up and then i drunk it and then i didn't even get sleepy so yeah I, I don't think it's really considered like um a sleepy tea i think because when i read the back of it it was like um it's a yogi bedtime tea i'm sorry i'm being nosy and talking to y'all at the same time but i read the back of it and it basically was saying like um i'm so nosy just you gotta get these folks business you cannot be in these folks business this much in life i love the people watch y'all I do all oh. so beautiful. But church, oh my god. Oh I'm gonna read this shirt. It said lost myself trying to I think it said trying I think it said trying to find friends. But church was really good and that's why I say Pastor he really be speaking a word because oh my god, the things that I've been thinking about, um things I was talking to y'all about it just came out today and it's like he just be knowing what to say when to say it ain't it <laughs> like really the holy spirit really be in the room what like he talked about having uncomfortable conversations <sighs> dealing with past trauma really healing through things we're going we're going to be in matthew 8 we already did Matthew. We touched on four a little bit. Then in five, six, and seven was the Sermon on the Mount. Now we're in Matthew eight, and that's what we're gonna be in for the next couple of weeks. But yeah, so we're gonna see about that. He said a life in order, not a perfect life. God, you want to have a life in order, not a perfect life. And it's so timing because um of everything that's because y'all know today's August twenty fifth. It, it's just so tiny. Let's see that. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to just sit here and wait. 
and I'll call y'all back once I get to the thrift store. Bye. All right, y'all. I just did my little lip situation over. Girl got lips. Girl, come on. Now I'm about to go inside now to um the thrift store. We at the thrift store. Y'all, I noticed this morning. Well, I actually kind of noticed before, but it really dawned on me. I really need to get some new church shoes. I need some church shoes, child. I need like some little flats because I definitely ain't doing no heels. Some little flats for church. And it's so crazy. I came here the other day and I bought those trousers and I ended up wearing a pair that I actually already had in my closet. And I had these for a few, thank you, a few years. So, um, yeah, that's that. And I actually like how it came out. Let's get the swim shoes and get a hat. That's all we swim shoes and a hat. Swim shoes and a hat. Girl, they right here by the register. Bye. Okay, I went in there and they literally have one. And it's a size nine. It's a little big, but thank you. It's a little big, but it will do. And I don't like them. But there's another thrift store right across the street. So I'm about to run over there actually really quickly. Just to see maybe if they have some in there. And if so, oh, he just bought this car. Ah, go ahead now. But, um, yeah, I'm about to go over there real quick just to see if they have anything. I'm hungry too, y'all. And I ate breakfast before I left, but I'm sorry, the pancakes came out burnt, and then I had a little bit of uh, potatoes, and I made some eggs and sausage, and I ate that. Now I'm hungry again. It's only been about two hours. Just I'm hungry. Bye. Hello, good people. Hello. Y'all literally went home and took like a 30 second. Felt like 30 second nap. <laughs> I'm telling y'all that's exactly what it felt like. But I'm currently now on my way to the beach. I don't know why it's giving a little cloudy because it wasn't called for no clouds or anything. Um, but now it's getting like a little cloudy, which I'm kind of glad because it's 90, it's showing my car is reading 94 degrees right now. It is hot out there. It is hot out there. But I'm on my way to the beach and I'm super excited because you guys know I've been talking about going to the beach all summer long. Like forever. I've been talking about, I want to go to the beach, I want to go to the beach, I need to be by the beach, I want to be to the beach. And God said, today is your day, girl. Today is your day. And I didn't realize, well, I was talking to somebody in my church about um, this place, the beach or whatever, and she was saying, no, it's actually real. Like, I thought it was like fake, like man-made, but it's more like a, like a creek lake situation. She told me, oh Lord, she told me like how it's set up, how it is actually like a beach or whatever, but I don't know all the correct terminology, so don't get me up here to line. But yeah, I'm on my way to the beach right now. I'm super excited to get in that water, to touch it. I looked online and some people were saying the water was clear, but some photos, the water didn't look that clear. But it don't matter, we getting in that water today. I'm super excited though, super, super excited. A little nervous, but excited. Um, I did bring a change of clothes. I got some swimming shoes. I got uh, flip flops on right now. And I got some shorts in this tank. <clears throat> but yeah. So, on my way to the beach right now. I'm excited. And I can't wait for you guys to come with me. We're going to the beach. Girl. Girl. We're going to the beach. That is so good. He is so good. I'm scheduled off tonight. I don't know if I'm going to go in or not. Like pick up. But it was scheduled off. <sighs> there's gonna be food trucks out there too and i also saw a line that they also said that there are um there's food trucks out there but um yeah there's gonna be food trucks out there i did have a little bit something to eat but it wasn't nothing good i'm just like super super sleepy i need like a some type of energy booster but i've just been praying and asking god to just give me the strength and um just give me the strength because like I said I've been up really since yesterday other than that little 30 second nap that I took when I went home um yeah I gotta make sure I take my sunglasses too yeah. 
take my sunglasses. I'm gonna sure I put some sunscreen on and I also bought some extra. My car been doing this like jerking thing. I also bought like um, some extra sunscreen with me to reapply if need be, girl. <laughs> yeah, and I got an extra towel. Um, I got a bottle of water. Cause I be thirsty, girl. A little lotion. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Mm -hmm. There was one other thing I forgot, but I think I should be all right. I hope so. We're going to make it all right, girl. But yeah. Y'all, on my way to church this morning when I was leaving out the house, you know that little end, not end table, that uh, hallway table that I had got from the Eater home? Why I hit my hand, like literally in between my hand, like cut it. Like I was walking and I like bumped in between my hand and like literally cut my hand. I was like, ooh, ooh, it almost had me on the edge. But I said, I ain't gonna let it do it. I ain't gonna let it do it. Now on this day, it's August 25th. It is August 25th. Can't nothing disturb me on August 25th. Jazz. <laughs> We are going to the beach on August 25th. Uh, yeah. But I should be there in six minutes. So I'll catch you guys when I get there. Bye. Y'all, y'all can literally see the water on the map. I mean, I guess it is a little beach, girl. <laughs> I just see past the sign where it said beach also, so. Ah! Uh, quarter mile, turn left. We about to turn left in a quarter mile! Why does it look like it's trying to rain? Oh, Alumni State Park? Okay. Was that the way I was supposed to go? Oh Lord. Wait on y'all. I got cars behind me. I hope they ain't following me because child, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Wait, is turn left. Way? Yeah, it is. It is. Ah. You got the welcome sign. Mile, turn left. Ah. You got the beach. <laughs> Jason, okay. I'm so excited. Ah. Swim in zone area. All right. Y'all, we, it was, it's literally a beach 25 minutes away from my house. How is that even possible? I did not know that. Oh my God. And them little bumps, they bumpy. <laughs> ah! 8.30 p.m. the gates are closed. Beach, this area closes at sundown. Ah, okay, ooh, wow. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Oh my, I don't know where to go. They say go to a, the tent. Okay. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm nervous. Wow, it's so many people. Look at the food trucks, sure, there's yeah. things. Oh, oh, oh. Jess, okay, I'm sorry. Let me see if I can get it. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, well, I think you guys know now. Okay, so we about to turn left. That's my church. Welcome to one church. Okay. I'm here. Where do we park? I don't know. Oh my God, there's a huge stage. I should have left earlier in my YouTube before 22. <laughs> Okay, it's 
a whole, it's, it's a, I guess, you know, it's a public beach, so people out here, you know, beaching. Um, I have to go get signed in now. So, I don't know if, I, if I'm supposed to take all my stuff with me right now or not. I don't know. Come here. I gotta go. It's 4 o'clock. I gotta be over there at 4.15. Okay, I guess you guys know now. I'm getting baptized today. I know. It's y'all, these people, I don't know who they are. They got this loud speaker, super, super loud. I need to go get signed in. I gotta get signed in about 4 15. It's 4 o'clock on the dots. So I think I just leave everything here. I'm gonna take my sunglasses too, because my eyes. Do I just leave everything? I don't know what all to take right now. Should I take my beach shoes? there's a place where we can put like like a bag or something okay this I need the lotion I need extra batteries I got two y'all I got two that y'all own two batteries right now but I'm gonna need extra batteries okay. oh and I got my lawn chair but I'll keep that in there for later okay so boom Let's go get signed in, guys. I'm taking it today. I'm scared. I hope nobody asks, do you do YouTube? I can't be out here lying. Oh, this music loud. Sunday that no one's gonna come. So I was literally thinking, I'm like, you know, this time last year, nobody was here at the church. And so I had this like horrible fear. And then every year or every week, God kept sending people, people kept coming back. So honestly, in moments like this, I step back 
and I look at our church spread across this beach, 150 people or so being baptized. It's just amazing what God can do with a little bit of faithfulness. So thankful, man, to be here. To Baptism doesn't save you. Baptism is a symbol, okay, of what Jesus has already done. I've also had people say, hey, uh, I'm getting baptized because I want to be closer to God. And, and here's the deal. The, the irony of that is actually baptism isn't about your doing something to get closer to God. It's about what God did to get closer to you. That's what it is. So when you go into the water, all right, you're going to go into this water and you're going to be completely immersed. Your skin, your hair, there won't be one part of you that's not completely covered in water. And I want you to think about when you're when you're going down I want, and you're covered, I want you to think about God's grace. How it covers every part of you. Every part of your mind, every part of your soul, every part of your past, and every part of your future. His grace is new every day. Not only for what you've done in the past, but God's grace is new every morning. In, in other words, God doesn't run out of grace. That doesn't mean we go, well, God's gracious, therefore, well, let's just go send our brains out and see what happens. See how, no. the, the, Paul talks about that in Romans. He says, look, we don't sin so that grace will abound. Okay? We, but we understand that God's grace, he's not, he doesn't have us on account. And once I hit, you know, 64 sins, now I'm done and he's run out of patience. We have grace and place of grace already given. And it's from that act of love that motivates us to respond with an obedience to God. And so I'm going to tell you, today's going to be a great day. It's going to be a memorable day. I, I pray that, like, you take snapshots of the moment. When you go into that water, I want you to really memorize the, the immersion. I want you to memorize being completely covered in His grace. Because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. In a few hours, days, or weeks, there's going to be a day you're not going to feel all that saved. There's going to be a moment you're not feeling all that holy. You're, you're, you're not feeling what you're feeling today. And it's in those, that, in those moments that we come back, and not to what we feel, but to what we know. <sighs> all right, y'all. I got baptized. I don't know how the footage or anything looks because um, I haven't looked over it yet, but that was just so, um, oh my God. It was so amazing. I had to go home and journal about this so I can always remember, rem remember, remember this day. That was so amazing. He asked a question when I went up there. He was like, um, he was like, so what made you want to get baptized today? And I told him, I, I, I told him, my air conditioner sound like it's about to be on his last leg for real. But I told him, I was like, um, I was about to take my life and my life is not my own. Um, to God I belong. I give myself, I give myself away. No, I didn't say all of that, but I did say um, I almost took my life and God showed me my life is not my own and he kept me here for a reason, so. I'm here, man. God, I'm here to stay, but boom, that girl. Ah! <laughs> so amazing. And then um, the worship leader for the uh, group that I'm in, she actually baptized me along with um, one of the other ladies that's in our worship group as well. And I didn't know, like, like they were going to the religious and she was like, um, are, do y'all want to bat, are y'all baptizing her? And then I was like, uh, it's up to them. And they was like, it's up to you. And I was like, if it's not too much, you know? I don't know, I always get shy asking people for things like, even me, I, okay, now we're at the end, cause I didn't say anything, obviously this whole video, I just been hitting it up, but one, this beach is beautiful. Oh, I hope I don't get copyright cause there's music in the back. Let's actually chat once we get close to the house. I was gonna grab food from out here, 
but i think i'm just going to go home and probably just make something or something i don't know what time is it it's 6 27 so yeah let's head home and then i'll do like a debrief of everything oh so cool oh my god oh my goodness god thank you one of the girls that i so crazy because i was just talking about this i was like I just want to be surrounded around people like that wants to be surrounded around me and um she just said something today she was like yes thank god for friends i've been praying for christian friends and i'm just like oh my god and i talked about her in a different vlog and i was saying that we're the same age her birthday is november 30th mine's december 30th like and for her to say that today, she took my, she the one that took my pictures, did my, uh, took my pictures on my phone and stuff. And then another lady in our group, she actually came and, uh, did the video on my camera. So I'm gonna check that out when I get to the house. But oh my jeez. That is so good. Yay! Y'all, I left y'all hanging yesterday. My bad. My bad. But really quickly, before I end off this vlog and start a new one, um, I do want to say about my experience yesterday being baptized or well, getting baptized. Like, for me... Oh, I was reading their uh, license plate. I'm so nosy. For me... I don't know like a lot of people had different experiences and different emotions when they get baptized and everything but for me I don't know how to explain it it's like I have like I felt like I have already told God and God showed me like okay this is the time and I sat with that um I didn't really get nervous or feel any type of emotions I honestly was gonna go by myself um I'll go and like a, do a vlog, like a separate vlog, going into like full detail of how all this happened. But right now, just for the sake of time and everything like that, um, I was gonna go by myself, and then I end up, you know, uh, telling the the ladies that that's over the worship group, and then also, you know, the ladies that's in the actual worship group, and they decided, you know, hey, we'll come out and support you. And um, I feel like in this season, God is showing me, Jasper, you don't have to be alone. Like, life is not supposed to be alone. You're not supposed to be alone, right? And that was amazing. But honestly, I didn't get nervous or anything like that until, like, the ladies was like, this is such a big deal. And even, like, my best friend Courtney saying the same thing, like, oh, my God, Jasper, look, I'm super proud of you. And you know things like that, but I, I looked at it like I know, I have already said and said on my platform. I have you know when I speak to people, I talk about you know my walk with God, and I don't know, like you know when you get baptized, getting baptized is you're going public with your faith, right? So it's like yeah, like I, I, I feel like. I have done that, but I didn't do the baptism part. Like, I have gone public with my faith, but not to the degree where I got baptized. But now, now that I am baptized. Ah! But, um, I didn't get baptized. So, I was like, okay, 
I feel like my next step, and, and again, to understand where how I got to this, you gotta know the full story, but I ain't got time to tell y'all the full story today. I'm pressed for time. God called me and I was like, all right. This is it. This is it. And I feel good. Today I woke up in such a great spirit. As you guys know, I was up for almost 24 hours yesterday. And um, when I got home, I ate. And I was waiting on a text from one of the ladies from my worship group. Um, and I fell asleep. Like, I fell asleep. I was so tired. I fell asleep. And I set an alarm because I was going to check on my homeboy because he went out of town to make sure, you know, he got back home safe and everything like that. I set an alarm. Didn't even hear. I woke up. It was 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> 4 a.m. So, I've been up since 4 a.m. It's currently right now 1130. So, um, I did my Bible study this morning. I went to the gym because you guys know I work out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I was like, let me go ahead and go to the gym now because I've noticed a lot of people have been gymming it out. <laughs> I don't even think that's the correct terminology. But a lot of people have been, you know, going to the gym and I love that for them. But for me, it's like, girl, you better go in there or you ain't gonna have no waste. You ain't gonna have no space or opportunity. So I was like, I need to stick to my going to the gym at like between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Every morning, not every morning, but Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I want to stick to that because I know... Um, it's not that many people there and it's basically the same two or three people that's always there during that same time but um yeah so i'm gonna stick to that time and even like on my days off i feel like i just have to uh, prioritize the time to actually get up and go between stay in between my five and six o'clock schedule so my body can be like acquainted to it i don't know if that's the right word either but yeah my body can recognize like okay this is what we're doing so that, yeah so um yeah so i did that this morning and then i did a lot of cleaning y'all uh the word from yesterday's uh yesterday's pastor the word uh pastor preached on yesterday was just so amazing and though i can tell it was a lot of us in the room that needed to hear it because like as he was talking about it everybody was like chuckling real hard like a little too hard um but he basically was talking about just to give a quick example talking about um making sure like you you keeping your house clean i'll just say that so they had like props on the stage showing like um what a messy house looks like and what a clean house look like and it's not necessarily for messy it could have came from different things such as um oh my gosh she's like really in like she keep looking like okay yeah i am vlogging but um yeah so basically you don't want people to see that part of your home but you can use that for different things it could be that part of your life you don't want people to see the messiness of your life and remember we were just talking about like masking things he talked about how we all came to church today we look so nice and some of us you know we left our house or a mess or whatever the case is and when he was talking about that it it's also not, it's not just like the cleanliness of your home it can be what could have been happening in that home you know um could there have been some type of neglect some type of isolation abuse um anger let out like just different things of why your home could look in that way and i was like "Ooh, he right because i'm in church right now looking real cute and left that house looking a hot mess <laughs> so i was like you know what I'm about to get up. I'm going to the gym. I'm about to get my house together. And I did just that. I even bought out my um, my Bissell, my little steamer situation, and went ahead. Like, my shower, you know I have the slide door showers. So, in between those little cracks, it's like, it gets build up in there. So, I literally went through with the steamer and got all of that up. I do want to get some new cleaning products, though, because... I use everything, child. Everything. I y'all still want to. I know this is weird, and we back on the cleaning part. But I do want to get like something where I can take that silver piece off of my shower thing, so that way I can like clean it and you know get it all clean and stuff. Um, but I did my best as far as like cleaning around it as much as I could and everything like that. Y'all don't care, but yeah. So if you made it this far in the video, um, comment, clean it up. Yeah, 
clean it up because it's time to clean it up okay we don't have to mask our problems because a lot of us are going through the same thing or something very similar so we don't have to mask our problems let's just clean it up you know let's get out of that isolation oh i'm so excited because this morning the worship um instructor she put in our group that we're gonna have dinner this saturday and she was like whoever wants to come they can feel free to come so i looked up the place so i was like okay count me in so i'm excited i don't get to go out with people yeah and i just gave god so much thanks and just for everything for bringing them in my life and i always t tell my instructor like i don't think you realize like how much you're helping the people in this group like we need you like we god has <laughs> he, I, I i can't even explain it the way he uses people to pull people together it's amazing i just i just love it so my phone definitely is on silent because people i was like hi i ain't been getting no messages i looked at my phone i had a whole bunch of messages i did it was a great time okay that was good but um yeah so that's that i'm gonna give my mom a call she called me left me a voice message and everything y'all i was not out i didn't hear a thing i didn't hear a thing but yeah, so I'm about to run into Burlington because I had bought an outfit to wear um, afterwards and I didn't wear it and I want my $15 back. Yeah, that's right. I said it. And on that note, I'm going to call y'all back. Is that a dragonfly? All right, got to go. Bye. Okay. I know I ended the vlog, but I'm back. Well, I'm going to put this thing somewhere in between the vlog. So my homeboy just says me, said, do you feel reborn? And as I said with that question, I do. I feel like God has honestly washed away all of my sins. I just feel like it's a new start. Remember, y'all yeah, probably don't remember, but if you've been watching me faithfully and every vlog, um, I said previously, I just need a sense of newness. Like I need a, like something new, something, not a gas light, okay. <laughs> something new like to start over like newness and i feel like i got that i feel like this is the newness that i needed not that i want it but i need it i needed this a new start Like, I really feel like I just keep picturing me, like, the thought of me going under the water. Like, I just, like, a feeling of everything just being washed away. It's amazing. Okay, okay, bye. <laughs>